What's up my fellow lazy gals and welcome back to my Chanel and to another Zala hair extension tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how I got this super easy look using only one weft of hair and that is the Zala Halo Human Hair Extension. It's literally just one piece of hair. Super thick, dense, but you'll see it when I hold it up in front of you. I'm wearing it right now, but we will install it together and I will show you how quick and easy the entire process is. So thank you Zala for sponsoring yet another video and also giving my subbies some coinage off, okay? If you're interested in shopping Zala hair extensions, then feel free to use my code Angela10 at checkout for some money off. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so this is my hair without extensions, <laughs> giving very much mom haircut, giving very much blunt cut, and this is why I'm so surprised that the Halo extension actually worked for me because normally I need like rows and rows and rows of extensions to blend this hair. But today we will be using the Zala Halo extension. Like I said, I will list all the details about this hair down below, the color, length, everything. But as you can see, this is the halo cord that you place on your head like a crown, but it also has clips, which is something that a lot of other brands that do halo extensions don't do. They only have the halo part and it just sits on top of your head and it doesn't feel secure, but this isn't going nowhere. And I'm not trying to go leave the house fearing somebody's going to grab my hair and then my whole weft comes out that's not happening anyway we're not going to talk that into existence okay so the first thing i do regardless of extension type i always 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 clip up the hair around the nape of my neck because that hair kind of sticks to my neck not in like a sweaty way but it just kind of tends to go whoop when i want it to go doop so we're going to pin that up so what i'm going to do is just separate my hair and just pin this entire section up there's my clip I'm just taking bobby pins and whatever clips I have really just to pin this up. Okay, once that's pinned up and secured, I'm just going to release the rest of my hair and decide where I'm going to put my part. I'm going to do a middle part today. Okay, and then I'm just going, oh, I'm looking all toxic, like crazy. Okay, so then I'm just going to take my halo extension and place it on my head like a crown. Some people part their hair first, but I don't do that. I feel like it's easier to do it this way, and then my extension goes just wherever it wants to, whatever feels comfortable. Where is my brush? Okay. So next, all I do is take a brush and just brush over the halo extension. I'm just brushing my hair like normal. And you just wanna brush until you don't feel the extension on the outside of your hair anymore. And literally, that's it. <laughs> then when it feels comfortable and secure around your head, you just want to, what's it called? Not pin it in clip it in. You just want to close those clips. And the area that I pinned up on the nape of my neck provides a really nice anchor for that. So this is what we are working with. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. Okay, now all I'm going to do is curl my hair into the hair extensions to make it blend better because obviously I have styled my hair without the extensions in so and i do this with clip-ins as well just to make it blend and that's how i deal with having a blunt cut so let's curl my natural hair into the extensions so why is it so And that is it. All I did was add some hairspray because my hair is freshly washed and all my flyaways are out to play and they still are apparently. <laughs> There's no hairspray that could tame that. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you try it or if you pick up the Halo hair extension. Let me know. Thank you again, Zala, for sponsoring this video and I will see you in the next one.